Hello HHO experimenters. This is Bob Campbell. And what I want to demonstrate to you is that uh, we can simulate pretty closely um, an alternator from a car or truck as opposed to using a uh, a laboratory type uh, power supply with a filtered output um, I'm saying that this uh, alternator is giving a pulse a pulse output and that's what we need to uh, try to duplicate so currently we're at 14.9 volts here let me see if I can get that down really want to approximate, oh there we go, 13.5 volts. Um, we're currently drawing 7.6 amps on the AC scale, 7.66 on the DC scale, 7.3 on the AC scale. It's, it's, it's shifting around and changing quite a bit. Um, I'm going to plug this in and we'll uh, see what we get for a time here. I'll try to get that in the picture, maybe. Nah, it's not working out. It's too blurry. Okay, I'm going to start it. We'll just go for a tenth, 100 uh, milliliters here. Okay, we're at, uh, I'm going to stop it right now, 18.85 seconds. Okay, give me a second here, I'll go turn the engine off on and disconnect the um, battery charger. You can see those meters, that's uh, straight DC now. Hey, do you like that station? Bob FM. I've actually forgotten all the numbers I just uh, said there, so I'm going to have to watch the video myself. I'll post it in the more uh, information area. And uh, I think that this pretty much proves that uh, a, a uh, battery charger and a battery is probably the best approximation to simulate a vehicle's electrical system.
for your HHO laboratory. Thanks for watching. It's Bob Campbell.